Alright, hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be going over getting started with Arduino programming and installing the Arduino IDE for the Progressive Kids online summer classes. So to get started, all I'm going to do is click on Google Chrome and I'm going to search up Arduino download. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the very first link that shows up. You can also go to this URL directly if you'd like to. Now for this class, we're not actually going to be using the Arduino web editor. Instead, what we're going to be using is the Arduino IDE. You can find this by just scrolling down a little bit. And what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to go to the sidebar over here and click on Mac OS X. Now you can download if you'd like to, but for now I'm going to click on just download and you'll see it'll begin the download for us. Now, the Arduino IDE is basically the program that we're going to be using to write all of our Arduino code in, and it's also going to be the program that we use to connect to our, our Arduino and upload all of the code that we write. All right, so you can see the Arduino IDE has finished downloading. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my downloads folder, and you can see it's a zip file. So to extract this zip file, I'm just going to double click and the archive utility should open up for me automatically and it's going to go ahead and extract the arduino ide that we've just downloaded once the archive utility is done extracting we should be left with this application over here that says arduino what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click and drag it into my applications folder and i'm going to wait for it to copy once that's done i'm going to go into my applications folder and I'm going to scroll up and find the Arduino icon. I'm going to double click on it and wait for it to open. And I'm just going to click on open. All right, so after a few seconds, the Arduino IDE should be finished launching. And you should see this screen over here. Now I'm going to switch gears real quick and go over to the document camera to show how you're supposed to plug your Arduino into your computer. All right, see you in a second. All right, so you can see right here, I have my Arduino and I also have a USB-A to USB-B cable. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the B end of my cable and plug it into my Arduino. And then I'll grab the A end of the cable and plug that into the computer and you should see that your Arduino receives power and it turns on right away. For the next step of this video I'm going to be going over how you can get the Arduino IDE to detect your Arduino and how you can upload the code from your Arduino IDE to your Arduino. Alright you can see I still have my Arduino IDE opened up right here and now to connect my IDE to the Arduino I want to go ahead and click on Tools, Board, and then the board model that we have is the Arduino Uno. You can see it's already selected for me, but I'll click on it again. And then we also want to go on to Port, and then under Serial Ports, we want to click on the one that says USB. You might have Bluetooth as an option showing up, but since we plugged it in directly, we want to click on USB. So now that we do that, our Arduino should be connected. To test that out, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and click on this icon over here, open, I'll click on basics, and then blink. Now what it's going to open up is an example program that is basically going to blink the built-in LED on the Arduino on and off every second. Now what I can do is I can click on the check mark to verify the code. And you can see it compiled properly. And then I can go ahead and click on upload. Now you can see there are no errors in uploading. And switching over to our Arduino, you can see the built-in LED is now blinking on and off every second or so. So that tells us our code was successfully able to be uploaded to the Arduino and is now running properly. Thing we would like you to do before the classes begin is create a brand new folder on your desktop or 
anywhere else on your computer and call it something like Arduino code or something similar. And then whenever you create a brand new file in the Arduino IDE, it would be great if you could click on this icon over here to save and then navigate over to the desktop and then the folder you just created and give it a good name right here I think I'll just call it day zero blink test alright so you can see I've saved my Arduino code in this folder right here and make sure you have this folder before the class begins and this is the folder we're going to be using to save all of our code all right, so that should be all for this getting started video for the Arduino class for the Progressive Kids online classes. I hope you were able to get everything working properly. If not, uh, feel free to ask us any questions and see you until next time.